Indiana, a comic anthology. It'll be available on Lulu.com and Amazon.com, full of about 19 different local artists. Uh, Indianapolis actually has a lot to offer in the comics kind of area. If I can find you in, in, and you're an artist in Indianapolis and you do like comics, then I will send you an email and invite you to one of our groups. Uh, this was our first um, group project that actually got printed. Um, that we printed it through Lulu.com. And, uh, and then this show was kind of like another project that kind of grew out of this. It's kind of like the launch party. So I've always kind of had this love for music and for comics and the Barfly strip evolved out of that. It just sort of seemed like a natural thing to try to put a music event and comics together. Partially, you know, shamelessly to plug my new comic store, but also I just thought that there could be some synergy there, that I could put something together. And uh, that's what this evolved out of. It all evolved out of that. My art is very comic strip-like. Well, to the anthology, I took uh, basically a month's worth of strips and put them together. Uh, it's the history of the Mini Cooper. Uh, well, I do a webcomic called alandscout.com. It's about my cats. So it's kind of like a Garfield-esque kind of thing, but the uh, the cats cannot communicate with the humans, so that's where most of the jokes come into play. Uh, I did just a short story. It's called uh, Skeletons in the Elevator. It's kind of a kind of like a dark comedy about three people trapped in an elevator. Uh, I had a story called Burke and Binky's Winter's Tale, and it's a story set in my hometown of Fortville, Indiana. It's a it's a little wholesome kid story, really. A little bit divergent from what I usually do. I did a uh, page 70. It's a, a little strip about the fact that I really didn't think I was going to be able to contribute to the anthology. So it's kind of a non sequitur in that it's uh, it's a page about not doing a page. I do have a, a book out called Secular City Limits. Um, I've got two short comics in the anthology. One is called uh, The Galactic Trade Police, or Tales from the Galactic Trade Police, and the other one is uh, The Knot. I did a story called Fool's Gold, and it was uh, nine pages of story. It was actually based on um, a Dungeons & Dragons night that I have weekly with some buddies of mine. Uh, our dungeon master had created a story, and I thought it would be perfect uh, for a comic book, so I thought I would do that. Uh, anthology that I was just part of, pretty amazing stuff. I mean, a great, great, like, widespread, diverse group of Indiana artists. Uh, buy the book because it's pretty cool and it's all Indiana artists. If you buy this now, these names, you'll hear them later and you'll be like, wow, I had this book when they were still nobodies. Check out the book, check out all the artists in the book because they all have websites and more work for you to find and read and uh, read, read comics.